A guitar buddies, great song from television, Venus. So we'll start with the chords. On the intro, I'm playing F to G three times. Okay, so that's a bar each, and then half a bar of F to C to G to C. That's played under the arpeggio. C. And again, F, C, G. So we've got F, C, and a G for just a half bow on. Two. And then a C. So in the verse, when the verse starts, we're starting on two bars of C. Again, just picking out, picking this as arpeggios. And an F. Then a G. Again, C. F to G. And then we've got two bars of A minor. Two bars of D minor. Back to A minor. D minor for one bar. G. And then so that it's kind of core of a section. We've got E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor, do 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 F to G. And then again E minor, A minor. Just one time this time. Then F do 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 do. Then into the arpeggiated section. F C. G, C, F, C, G. Okay, and then that all repeats. Okay, and then in the um, the solo, which comes after another those section, the solo we've got two bars of A minor seven, and two bars of E minor. Two bars of D minor and four bars of A minor. And two bars of E minor. And D minor for bar. Then, then I'm playing after a bar of D minor to take us back into a verse and final chorus, I've got half a bar, one, two, three up four on one. D minor to G7. Okay, and then we're just back into a verse chorus. Okay, and on the last, you know, we're going around this. Uh, F, C, G, C. And the last time, F, C, G, you hold G, we hold the G to C to finish. So if you follow along with the playthrough at the start, once you know the chords, it's very easy to follow the song. So next we'll take a look at the lead parts. On the intro, I'm starting with I'm bending a semitone from E on nine of the G string to F and releasing, then D, E, D, seven, nine, seven, then B on nine on the D string, and G on eight on the B string. Okay, and I play that three times, and then we're into this arpeggiated sequence. So I'm starting on an F. So I'm playing F, F, C, F. So I'm starting on 15 on the D string and playing 13 on E, 13 on B, back to 15. So I'm skipping the G string. So, so. Then I'm playing a C arpeggio. 14 on D, 
13 on B, 12 on G, back to 14 on D. So. Then a, a G7 arpeggio. So I'm playing 12 on D, 13 on E, 12 on B, back to the D string on 12. And then back to the C, but instead of playing, going down on the last note, I'm going back up. So I'm going, so, so that's 14, 13, 12, 13. So it's the same, same shape, just that last note going up instead of down. So slowly, start again same but I don't go back to the C I go to a C but I'm going to the C in the first now which I'm playing I'm now playing C just just play the top part of a C chord 10 9 8 8 so I'm picking down on the D string and up on the E string and then picking the two middle notes, E and G, on the G and B strings. And then I did a little trill, E, F, E. And then, I'm playing an, over the F chord, I'm adding an, a nine note, um, I'm adding a G. So I'm playing arpeggiating eight, eight, uh, sorry, 10, 10, eight, 10 of the D, G and B strings. Then moving that shape up two frets for G with an added ninth. Then playing Kind of leaving a half beat at the start, one and two and three and four. So I'm playing G, D, G, A, G, D. So just starting on that G string, then you're going to D, back to G, to the B string, back to the G string, there you go. And then a little variation that I sometimes play, is instead of I'm I'm just playing a adding a sixth note of that C an A so I'm just pulling off from ten to eight on the B string and then just adding a little trill on the E F E again on the G string. Okay, and then we go into the kind of pre-chorus section. Uh, that's an A minor. So over the A minor chord, I'm playing. So I'm playing the top three strings. So I'm playing five, 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 then put a B on top on seven. Then re-picking the three strings and pulling off. So I'm playing five, five, eight, Seven, back to five. So we've got that's the melody, but I'm just putting so and moving that up to the tenth fret for the D minor. I'm just playing the same thing, then moving it back down to five, back to ten. Then we've got. Leading us into the chorus, I'm playing down. Okay, G Mixolydian scale, if you want to be technical. Or a C starting on G. So I'm playing G, F, E, D, C, B, G, A. 
So starting on the B string, eight, six, five on G, seven, five, four, then on D, seven, five. So. And then over the E minor to A minor chords, we've got, I'm playing G, E, D, B. So eight, nine, seven on B and G, then nine on D. And then over the A minor chord, I'm playing A, G, A, C. 7, 10, 7, 10 on the D string. So it's and again, repeat. And then our intro lick. And then again, but just once this time. Okay, and then we're back into our arpeggios and then it all repeats I'll take a look at the solo in a minute but just one thing about the end is on the very last arpeggio we go to a D and then we go up the C scale so what I'm playing is just the G7 as we played it so so it's 12 13 12 12 of the D, E, B, and then back on that D string, we now go up, up the chord, 12, 12, 12 on D, G and B, and then start playing up the scale. So from that B, we go to 13 and 15, so B, C, D, then 12, 13, 15 on E, Okay, so E, F, G. So. And then take it up to A, B, C, and C again. That's your last note. So, so you're going from 17. Uh, so you're going from 15, sorry, to 17, 19, and 20 is where you end. Okay, that's the lead part, but next we'll take a look at the solo. I'm using a volume pedal for the solo. So each time I play a note, I'm just pushing down with my foot. Alternatively, I could kind of tap each note. If I didn't have a volume pedal, and just turn the knob, the volume knob of the guitar up each time I kind of tap on a note. But I'll use the volume pedal because I've got one and it's easier. The first phrase I'm playing is C, D, A, G, A, G. That's 13, 15 on B, 12, 15, 12, 15. Then I'm going E, E, D, B. So I'm going 12, 10, 12 on the E and B strings. And then D, E, D. So that's 10, 12, 10. And then I stop using the volume pedal. And then so I'm now playing a bend. So Bend and release on 12 to E to F to E. D on 10, B on 12, back to D on 10. Back to B on 12, two A's on 10. On the B string, then G to F, eight to six. So. So then I'm playing 
an A minor arpeggio. Five on B, five on G. To seven on D. Back to five on G. And then slide it up to an E minor arpeggio. So I'm just I'm playing nine, eight, seven. Just picking those strings. Then after the E minor chord, I'm forming a C chord and playing So I'm basically playing 10, 9, 8 of the D, G and B strings Then re-picking that C on 10 on D Then G to A, 8 to 10 on the B string and then C back to A so 8 to 10 on the E and B strings and then just re-picking C and E and then C, G, E so just really playing these notes of a C chord on 10, 9 and 8. So 10, 9, 10, 8, 10. So yeah. Then we're going to Just forming an E minor chord. And just really picking out those notes, starting on the D string. So and then so then play the D minor chord. Was side at the start. So I played 10, 10, 10, and then a G7 chord on 12, 12, 13. Okay, and that's the end of the solo, and a great song. So thanks for watching, buddies, and enjoy a bit of television. Cheers!